everyone welcome to Deepika makeup hope you all are doing super awesome so today's video is going to be a tag video it's the 15 random or fun questions tag it's been a very long time that I actually filmed a tag video I don't remember the last time I did a tag video so this is going to be fun and also I know a lot of you will have your eye on my necklace or you will have questions about it uh, this is from happiness boutique I believe the link in the description box below if you're interested you can go and check out the description box below so I'm gonna answer I think 15 questions so let's begin uh, the first thing I have here is what's a nickname only your family calls you? I think I mentioned this already in some Q&A video or something uh, Everyone in the family calls me Kittu. A lot of my friends call me Kittu. Uh, my dad sometimes call me Kitlu um, My grandparents call me Kitul Tali. After I got married my husband started calling me Chinni Chins, Chinilu, you know, several variations of that. So those are my nicknames. So second question is, what's a weird habit of yours? Weird habit. I should have thought of answers. I did go through the questions, but I didn't really give any thought, you know, what to answer and all. So now I'm not able to think what weird habit I have. Weird habit. Nothing comes on top of my mind right now. Third question is, do you have any weird phobias? I don't think it's weird, uh, but my major, major biggest phobia is uh, snakes. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to react if I see a snake in real life. I believe I saw, you know, a couple of times, like one time in the zoo, or sometimes on the road itself but you know from very far away uh, but I was really scared and I'm not really sure like if at all I see a snake like right there without me expecting that I would see it I don't know how I would react I think I would just like I don't know what's gonna happen so snakes are my biggest 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 phobia and the second phobia I think is weird is <laughs> I'm scared of dogs I wasn't scared before um, but one of my very best friends dog um, I think I gave him like really Indian sweets or something so I don't know it got hyper or I don't know what happened it just bit my hand once and then ever since I got very scared of uh, dogs it's like a really cute little dog and you know I really like looking at dogs you know I really enjoy so whenever I'm um, out, uh, I really love dogs when they put their head outside the window. I love to watch them, I see them, I enjoy them, play and all that but I never go touch them or let them lick me so I'm really really scared of dogs. I know a lot of people get angry like what are you scared of dogs and all that but somehow after the dog bit me uh, you know I just because I had to take three injections and uh, because of that I was on bed for like two or three months because I got some fever or something so alright fourth question is what's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone a lot of songs actually it's like a specific genre <laughs> you know if you watch uh, Indian movies like Telugu or Bollywood or any movies um, item songs uh, those are my favorite I love them the beat the energy everything just brings me up and I love them I mostly listen to uh, these songs not just when I'm alone but even if my husband is around, my parents or even if we are traveling with a bunch of friends. If I have the control to you know, play whatever music um, I want, I would just go with item songs. Uh, number 5. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? So the first thing that comes to my mind is wet towels. Like me and my husband, we are married for over 6 years now and... Uh, <laughs> Every time since the day one I've been telling him do not leave the wet towel on the door. You know, I put hangers everywhere, every possible place where I think that my husband would come and hang the wet towel. I just put a hanger there. But he always end up putting it on the door. And I hate it. I hate it. I cannot close the door. And when I'm like, if I'm walking, it touches me and I... Mm, I hate it every single day for the past six and a half years 
I take the towel off the door and put it on the hanger. This happens every single day. Initially, I used to be like, all right, new husband, let me do it for him. And slowly I told him a couple of times that that's irritating me, please do not do that. Later, I started yelling at him and if somebody yells at him, he doesn't do it. So after a few years, he's like, if it bothers you, you do it yourself. So right now, I just do it myself. It doesn't bother me anymore. Now, it doesn't bother me that he's hanging on the door, but it bothers me that it's on the door. So I just bring it and put it on the hanger. So that's how marriage goes. All right, number six is what's one of your nervous habits? Yeah, there are very few times that I actually get nervous. I'm more like if it's going to happen, it's going to happen kind of a girl. And if I can do something about it, I'll do it. Otherwise, I just sit calm or uh, I just discuss only with my husband if he can help me or not. Uh, before wedding, I used to discuss with my father or my brother. Now it's just my husband. I don't, you know, discuss with any third person at all. Um, number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the left side. Uh, number eight, what's your favorite stuffed animal and its name? Oh, first stuffed animal and its name. I remember my first stuffed animal was a red teddy bear that my mom's elder brother, my uncle uh, got me. And um, I was, I believe, five years old then. I didn't name it, but I really used to love it. And after like three or four years, he went to US and he, when he was coming back, he bought me a big teddy bear which is light blue so fluffy and so chubby and i named it bunty and that was on my bed all the time uh, till i was in india so i think he got me when i was like eight or nine years old and it was on my bed all the while till i was 21. all right number nine what's the drink you always order at starbucks uh, if it's summer, it's coffee frappuccino, no whipped cream. If it's winter, I go for, you know, fall and winter, I go for pumpkin spice latte. Number 10, what's the beauty rule you preach but you never actually practice? Uh, cleaning my makeup brushes for sure. Um, I always tell people that, you know, clean your makeup brushes every week and all that. But I never clean my makeup brushes every week. I usually just clean them with you know uh, alcohol and i deep clean them you know once or twice a month so number 10 number 11 which way do you face in the shower i face away from the shower so my back is facing the shower all the time number 12 do you have any weird body skills i thought about it actually um but no i don't have any weird body skills um, I can move my ears actually. Do you see that? Do you see that? Can you see? It didn't come naturally to me. One of my cousin, he used to do it and he challenged. So I practiced and that's where I got. So that's the only thing I have. Number 13. What's your favorite comfort food or food that's bad but you love to eat it anyways? This is easy. My favorite two foods actually don't suit me. Uh, one is pizza. Whenever I eat pizza, I always get like nice pimples all over my face. But even if I know that, I still eat it because it's my favorite. The other thing is uh, chicken biryani. Whenever I eat it, I always, next day I always have some other other trouble. Um, I don't know and I always tell like, okay, this is the last time I'm going to have chicken biryani. I'm not going to eat it anymore. And then next week, I want my chicken biryani back. So what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? This keeps changing, but I always have some other other uh, phrase or exclamation. Exclamation. Um, sometimes, yeah, it keeps changing all the time. Right now, I think it's um i keep saying like like a lot of times uh yeah, just yesterday my husband actually pointed that out and what else um i used to say bindas a lot like bindas and for many years uh, my phrase or exclamation was like this go like this go and my brother got it my mom got it my grandma grandpa father everybody like everybody used to give me back like if i ask them something serious they're like like this go like this go means like you know take a chill pill kind of thing so yeah <laughs> that's that was my phrase for many 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 years 
even now they hit me with that uh, phrase actually so the last question is time to sleep what are you actually wearing it keeps changing i either wear pajamas or i love nighties like maxis um not the maxi dresses but you know in india if you are indian you will understand nighty moms usually wear them like they are just like maxis so i love them i always ask my mom to bring some uh, whenever she is coming from india like like so loose and so nice i can just move around in my own dress and i absolutely love them those are my favorite if i don't have any nighty washed or something i just go for the next option which is pajamas but my favorite are always those indian nighties i don't know how you feel about them a lot of people think that they are not cute and all I don't care they're so good to sleep in so I just absolutely love them so that completes all the 15 questions I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button and make me happy and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel I will see you all very very soon goodbye